Billy Bob's Hunting and Fishing. It's a game, admittedly, I've never even heard of, but this game was so nostalgic to someone, because every game is somebody's favorite game of all time. And that was the case with this game. That was gifted to me from some dude at some convention. It was Retropalooza, and I forgot his name, and I feel so bad about it. I should have written it down. But he said, yo, if you can get it working again, great, it's yours. If not, we've tried our best. So there's a little something called open cart surgery. I have no technical background. I don't have an engineering degree. I'm just cleaning games or using a soldering iron when I need to every once in a while to try to get these games working again. Just because they're broken, broken doesn't mean you should toss them. Chances are we can breathe some new life into it. And I've had a decent success rate. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to see what it looks like when I turn it on. And it's not going to go to the next screen because if there's the Nintendo sign down there, it's almost like letting you know, nah, it's, it ain't going to work this time. We can open this. Just for fun, I'll even use the uh, pink gorilla little bootleg case here that has one of these screwdrivers in it. I like pink. Works for me. This is the 3.8 millimeter. Uh, you can also look up game bit, Nintendo bit. It's the, it's a 3.8 millimeter security bit. It's the same one used for Nintendo, Super Nintendo 64 to an extent. A few Genesis games, but not many. And it also does work for uh, Game Boy games as well as Game Boy Color. One screw, it's all it is. And it's going to be super hard to see, but one screw and then a little shift like that will open it up. And if you're curious, that's what a Game Boy game looks like. One-sided, all the things are right there. The exposed pins, a couple of chips there. I'm gonna have to go crazy eyes for a second. And you could try cleaning it. I mean, that's the first thing anyway, right? They do make one-up cards for Game Boy games that'll flip right in there. I, I have a couple of them, I can't find them. So since it's open anyway, I'm still gonna use a one-up card, just a standard size one. Actually, this one's, eh. This, this one's pretty grungy. Let me find a different one. Here. Uh, this is one of my older cards. I gotta get some more of these made. I usually hand these out at conventions and stuff like that, free of charge as a thank you for coming to visit me, but I have a couple of them left. I don't give them out anymore, but I should get some more made. Fluid side, dry side. That was way too much fluid for how big this card is. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even fit. Like, the whole thing's like the same size, so let's just do a little bit of the old, uh, here, you know what? Let's take the whole thing out. Why not? Not that I wanted to. It just kind of came out anyway, so I'm just gonna, goop. I'm just gonna clean it. A little bit like this. There's some people who say, don't do this, don't go side to side. Eh, I've never had a game not work because I didn't do that. There's also a dry side that kind of buffs it out. But I will kind of do that. Up and down, up and down, with the grain, with the grain. You can play it like this. Let me just put it back together again, just so it's safe. That in there, this in here. It's a little like that. And we still don't have that Nintendo logo down there. Interesting. I don't even know if it shows up on your side, but I sure see it, or don't see it for that matter. Oh yeah, that's right, you can also go I mean, he even said don't put a whole lot of time into it, but I figure since it's all here and everything, we could look at it anyway. Now, these little travel size Q-tip thing was a perfect idea for this. Just keep it handy. <laughs> Fine, we'll try the Bright Boy. And if you love this kind of stuff, make sure you're subscribed. I always have new videos coming out soon. It's the best way to see my videos pop up on your homepage, so you don't miss out on anything. There are some who say don't use Bright Boy. Uh, I'm going to use it anyway, because <laughs> I've had it work before. But again, in using this, you want to make sure that your board is extra clean before you put it into your console. And yes, we have a literal 7-Eleven in our house. Mm. Now it's my son's door. Mm. Little alarm goes off when he knows he's here. Hi, Jaren. What is it? What do you see? Do you want my daddy's phone? You don't need daddy's phone. I'm cleaning a game. Do you want to help me clean games? Mm -hmm. Do you want more open, do you want more open cart surgery? Mm -hmm. No? All right. We well, we tried. Mm -hmm. You're back. Mm -hmm. Do you want more open cart surgery? <laughs> he likes to steal my phone and like... He likes to steal my phone and then just record random stuff on it. This Bright Boy stuff, I think it works wonders. But again, like I said, you want to make sure that you take care of it. You really take care of it here. So I did just a dead little dab, did a little scrapey scrape. Jared, what is it? Oh, Jared, leave it alone, buddy. And it's only, with Game Boy games, it's only the one side. You don't have to worry about the other side. Just the one side. I'll put it back together here, just in case. Sing for me, my angel of music. Nothing still. Well, we could try touching the solder points. That has worked in the past. Well, again, we can try this. And take this all off here so I don't do that. I'm working with a soldering iron here. And I'm just going to very delicately, and again, all the tools I use, all of the tools I use are linked to my uh, Amazon store if you're curious on any of the things I use. Make sure it's nice and cleany clean. And I'm literally just gonna touch each pin with a hot soldering iron. Just gonna hopefully breathe some new life into this. Now, I'm not using gloves. I'm not using, well, I'm using glasses, but not the kind of glasses I should be using. I know I'm touching the board directly on it. I'm going to be cleaning it anyway, though. So I just didn't look like it was melting, but I just tested it with some solder, and it's definitely working. So it's definitely, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I feel it now. You can just kind of feel it. It's the best way I can describe it. And again, 
this is just stuff I've been doing myself. More for entertainment than anything. Um, if you're looking for someone who actually knows what they're doing, you know, I'd, I'd recommend Voltar or someone like that. I mean, he's has actually done this before. Several people in the comments have also pointed out that, you know, they've done things similar. But, you know, I've done things similar, too. And this is one of those cases where you do want to do pin by pin. You don't want to just go... You know what I mean? Because then you might actually trace the solder over to another pin. And uh, then you're sending too much information down to the pins to the game. You might glitch it that way. Nice and neat. Nice and careful. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think that did it? It's worth a shot anyway, right? May as well. Do, 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 do. These ones shouldn't matter. Let me do these anyway. These are a little bit more precise. And of course they matter, or else they wouldn't be on here, right? But for what we're trying to do here, since we're here anyway, I don't think it's gonna do anything. I don't think that's gonna do anything anyway. Anything? Okay. Let's give it a shot. In fact, I'll just leave this like that. Hi, hey, sweetie. Shot. Pop it in there. It's the only one I have, so take my word for it, <laughs> if it works or not. All right, powering on, here we go. Well, it says Nintendo. Hey! All right, all it took was some, uh, breathe some new life into those pins. I'm telling you, sometimes you just gotta touch them up. Touch up the pins, soldering iron. Uh, so my soldering iron may be a little hot. I'm using a Hako, and I was at 550. I was at 550 on mine. I don't know if that's too hot, if that's maybe not hot enough, but um, hey, trust me. If I'll be able to get this far. Hunting and fishing. Like I said, I've never played this game before. And I might uh, I might be playing this later tonight just to just to have a look-see. I mean, I like this guy. I, I, I could cosplay as this guy, right? <laughs> More open cart surgery coming in the very near future. If you're new to the channel, you're like, hey, that was kind of fun. I've been doing this for several years. I have over a hundred videos you can binge right now. Uh, but check out some of the more recent ones and go from there. And thank you for watching and more open car surgery coming very soon. Thank you so much.